Hello? What did you uh, see as a, as a result of this ban? Um, do you think it was really helpful in the market? And uh, when you lift it, are you concerned that you're going to see a spike in short selling? <clears throat> I, I'm, I will be prudent at this juncture. I, I'm, and I'm looking forward to a very neutral postmortem of this episode of short selling ban that was both unprecedented, it was a global one, not targeting shares of a specific company or a specific sector, but covering the whole national market. So it was both unprecedented and has pro provided a counterfactual with very similar situations in the AU being covered by different policies, some with a short selling restriction, uh, obviously almost 60% of the Eurozone, by the way, and others with no restriction. So uh, I think there is, uh, there is an avenue for some uh, very useful research to determine uh, if it was uh, very useful, efficient, neutral. At this juncture, what I could say is this restriction or restriction, they, they didn't have any detrimental effects on the functioning of the market in these specific circumstances. And we've seen that other, good morning to you, Robert, we see that other yeah. exchanges have also, other countries, sorry, have also decided to remove their short selling bans this morning. Was this a coordinated effort or decision? And how important is it that European countries move together in this? Uh, I, I think basically uh, all, all European countries were facing the same situation. Uh, some of them decided to, to, to implement restrictions, others didn't. But uh, facing the same situation, it was uh, pretty obvious for us that uh, any, any lifting of this, of this uh, restriction should be done on a, in a coordinated way because the situation is not different in Spain, France, Belgium, Italy, uh, Austria, and, and Greece. So we decided uh, and at the very last, um, until the very last moment last, last week and decided to... To, to, to do it on a coordinated way. Are you concerned that it's harmful, Robert, to ban, uh, harmful to markets to ban short selling? I mean, um, removing that aspect takes a cushion away from a, a drop to come. There's no, no, I think there's no one uh, to cover it, it, shorts, for example. Yeah, uh, of course, uh, but it's, it's clear that uh, we, we Short selling is an activity that is part of a well-functioning market. It's not, it's not discussed here. But restrictions, and the European regulation is very clear, restrictions are possible in case of adverse developments which constitute a serious threat to financial stability or market confidence. These restrictions should be temporary and taken in order to prevent a disorderly decline in the price of financial instruments. And this restriction should, could be necessary due to a variety of adverse events. And if you, if you look at the regulation, the EU regulation, they are, they are explicitly mentioning natural disasters are a possibility for triggering this type of, of restriction, which are by nature temporary. And it, why is it temporary? Because it's just what you have mentioned, that the liquidity of, of a well-functioning market needs needs short seller. Okay, uh, Robert, as we've got you here as a market uh, regulator, I wanted to ask you uh, for your thoughts on any changes required to MIFID 2. There's been a lot of talk about potential revisions to MIFID 2 to help the Eurozone economy to recover from the pandemic. Do you think that, for example, the, the rules around research on bundling or any other MIFID 2 rules should be revisited because of this, the... the uh, uh, the difficult situation that European economies find themselves in? We, we are clearly advocating for, for some changes. and uh, There are some urgent targeting, targeted changes which are needed. Uh, uh, but uh, what you are uh, referring to is one of our uh, main challenge in, in front of us, meaning how do we increase own funds, how do we increase capital, equities, issuing, issuances, in our, in our European companies, which will be key for the recovery of our economy, because right now we have debt, 
that debt it should only could only be part of the story of our, of of the recovery we need capital and it's clear that in some in some points uh, MIFID II could be reviewed in order to, 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 to enhance the, 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 or facilitate the possibility of rising capital. But what you are mentioning, which is uh, the unbundling of research, is, is, is we, should, we, we can't decide uh, too rapidly on it. It's because it's, 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 it's a regulation which have a restructure the, the, this industry. We are advocating for some changes. Uh, in this uh, in this matter but no radical one